Tyler Fever getting the start and goal for Whitby in this game, but it will be the Wellington Dukes getting on the scoreboard first. The puck comes off Charles Cooper, and it's Cam Yule opening the scoring 1-0 for Wellington. From there, Taylor Best to Devin Shore, but he can't beat Jared Lockhurst at the other end. They would tie the game, however, here. Nick Neal's pursuit leads to Peter Neal jumping on this puck, and he feeds Matt Davis out in front, and he's going to rip that one in. This game is tied up at one apiece. Whitby would score in the second period to take the lead. Here's the point shot from Ryan Logan, and look who it is, Devin Shore on the doorstep. He scores. Whitby has their first lead of the game at 2-1. Ryan Donahue tried to gain the zone, but he's knocked over by Connor Hale. Late second period, Jack Lewis, the tip, but can't find net. Devin Shore attacking the net once again. Goes wide here, but can't score on the wraparound. Great effort nonetheless. Hard luck here for Fever. Daniel Murphy's shot tipped perfectly by Jan Kaminsky. 15th of the season for the boy from Kennesaw, Georgia. True story. Murphy with the chance here for the go-ahead goal, but Fever with the hockey card pose. A save that good used to come with a sticky gum. Beautiful stuff. Surprise, surprise, it's a one-goal game again. It's Cam Yule, the hero. Rips a perfect shot over the glove of Fever. Yule got to be kidding me. That's an incredible shot. Fever outstanding again in an overtime loss. 37 saves. Two of those three goals could have been stopped by Batman. Whitby will regroup and get ready for a visit from the Pickering Panthers on Tuesday. <laughs>